Today we'll be doing a demonstration video on a John Deere 50 series corner cabin upholstery. Here are the four panels we'll be removing and installing today. Before we get started there are a few safety items that we'll be needing for this project. As well as the tools we'll be needing uh, these are all going to be tools that will be used for the entirety of this project. One tip before we get started. It's recommended to replace the corner post before you replace the old headline or the replace the new headliner and the lower kits. Remove the studs that hold the window latches into place. Remove the old foam after the windows are propped out and put in put out of your way. You do not have to remove the windows. Pull all the old foam off. The old foam is pretty much rotten behind there and just remove the vinyl. Whatever is left over just sort of peel it off. Grab a putty knife and scrape off anything that's left and grab a wire wheel and thoroughly grind off all the old foam. Careful not to get the seals too damaged. Grab a straight screwdriver and get in by the seals and really scrape thoroughly and get rid of all that old foam. Grab a shop vac and sweep up any surfaces, all the surfaces of old foam. Wipe down all the surfaces with a rag. Now we're going to dry fit the parts, get familiar with where they go, make any minor cuts or adjustments we might feel that will benefit us. Here we're making a cutout for around this mirror. It's better to make the cutout for around the mirror than to remove the mirror. You can remove the mirror as well if you'd like. Get it fit around all the holes. Uh, get it familiar. Get familiar with where the parts go, how they line up. There are notches in the back for where the parts curve around and make a bend. Essentially, just getting familiar with all these parts and where they belong. Shake up your glue for two minutes. Usually use a lower stream of glue for these parts since these surfaces are pretty small. Get the glue thoroughly on that edge because that is where the glue or that is where the part will want to come undone first. So you want to make sure you have a thorough application on the edge of these parts. Get it lined up, centered in the middle on this part. I have it set up around that grommet on the right hand side, so I'm gonna line it up along the V notch. Do not yank and tug and pull on this part, just easily bring it around to the front. Now we're going to wrap it around to the side. Make a minor cut here. Make it fit a little bit better down on this ledge. Press it into place. Press it up on top and then curl it around the back side. It's hard to see but my hand is curling the part around on the backhand side to make it fit a lot better. We're getting this left front post put into place. Lining it up along the right hand side here up against that seal and we're curling it around the backhand side. Gluing the foam here not getting the glue in the v-notch, gluing the metal now as well putting a nice thorough application on the metal as well get it started around the one grommet get it lined up vertically bringing it up to the top you'll see here how I'm lining it up between the two notch outs to make sure it's nice and square Bring it down to the bottom. Now we're wrapping it around to the side. If you started it out properly, it should go right around that hole on the right hand side there. Bring it around the back side here, getting it fit into place, tucking it down. And make one small little cut here in this bottom corner, wrap it around there. tucking it around the backhand side. The back right hand post is the same except opposite. Replace the hardware to hold the window latches into place. 
wipe down all your overspray from your glue and that should be all we had to do today for these corner posts at the finished product demonstration could be used on variety of models 30 series all the way through the 60 series John Deere thank you from Fair Cab Interiors and we look serving forward to serving you